Hello dear friends, Fisher here. Today we continue with our beautiful stories, The Power of the Spirit. So today Bruno was talking to Lilo. Uh, as Bruno previously gave a large aluminium foil ball to Lilo for her condition, to help her recover and to help her uh, stay in a good vibration. And then Bruno asks her, so, um, do you always take take the alu aluminium foil ball with you? And then Lilo say, yes, I always do that. And then Bruno laughed heartily and then took uh, the aluminium foil ball and placed it behind him for about 20 minutes. And then Bruno talked to Lilo. So it has now been cleaned again for all that with which it had been burdened by unwitting people. As I said to you when I first gave it to you, you must take greater care that precisely this ball, which is meant for you alone, is not touched by anyone else. So long as you are able to come to me, it is not so bad. Since I can, and then, put all your carelessness back in order again. But should this ever become impossible in the future, you must then follow the advice I am giving you today. If people who are in need of help find their way to you, and then sit around the table with them, and put the foil ball in the dish in the middle of the table and take in the divine power together and just as I have shown you. But this ball should never go into anyone's hand. Indeed, do not ever allow it to be touched by other people. So Bruno in his speech and he talking about aluminium foil balls and then he give the aluminium foil balls basically in charge, charged, charged up and with divine healing energy and according to each person's need. So and Bruno will adapt and put in a different uh, sort of a divine healing energy to different people to address different people's need. So he always want the aluminium foil ball for you and then it's not necessarily for others. So do not give to others, even though you want to help. And you must do it accordingly. So anything is designed, and especially for you, for each individual should not be given to others because it does not help. And then Bruno always warned that anything uh, spiritual object, anything charged with very good um, energy, very good vibration, should not be touched by anybody else. Because since uh, nobody is, ha nobody has pure energy. Almost on this planet, maybe few people are exceptions, but people around you, your families, your friends, this and that, uh, they do not have a pure energy. So whenever they touch the aluminium for your balls, and Bruno give it to people, and then a corrupted energy, it contaminate the energy. Same thing with you touch, um, you know, a very clean uh, cloth with your dirty hand. So it depends how dirty the hand is. So it's contaminated. So the same way, and it works for the energy. Dear friends, always be aware that do not allow your any good object charged with good energy, your crystals, your your jade or any particular jewelries, if it's always in your hand and then embed it with your energy. So if your energy is good and then you embed it good energy into the object you always carry. Once it touched by people, it's contaminated, especially it touched by the people who does not have anything good anything good inside him and then it drains all the energy away. And then, even worse, it might give uh, a bad energy to the object you carry. Often you hear people say, "Oh, you cross and all oh, your 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 rings, you know, your earrings or oh, your necklace looks so beautiful. Can I touch it?" So just politely say no. I, I wouldn't let people to touch 
you know, like if people can touch my phone, that's okay. So,、um, you know, maybe my wallet, and then I might play like a a, a board game, like with people, but like not anything with、uh, any sp- special loading of good energies. So I had that experience with my previous.、Um, Landlord, and then she's my friend too. She's a Thai lady, and then she got the crystals. I was in my early twenties. She got the crystal lining around, and then I was just、uh, out of my curiosity, and then I I grab it and then touch it and have a look, and then she told me no, no, you shouldn't be touching my crystal, and then because you know it's you change the energy,、um, and I was at loss. I was like,、oh, okay, what、well, what's this about? You know, I was just、uh, you know curious about it, so. Only till late later this year, I understand everything has energy, and then our human beings we vibrating、uh, the energies, whether it's good and bad. So we have our spiritual energy field, and then when you encounter with some some people, sometimes you feel so comfortable, you feel so relaxed. But when you encounter and then. Very close, maybe within half meters of that person, and then you feel something really wrong, and then it agitates you, and then you don't know why, and then, but you probably need to pay attention to look, look at that person's eyes, you know, like if that eyes are looking a bit dark, you know, is it hiding something from you? So if you don't feel comfortable with anybody, so don't, don't engage with them. So that's your body is warning you, there's something wrong there. You might not know what, you might not know why, and but it is a warning. So pay attention to your bodily feeling, and they serve a good purpose to protect you, dear friends.、Uh, okay, and I wish you have a good day and God bless.